Hurricane Michael brought wind and rain to parts of the Sun Coast, but it was nothing compared to the devastation we've seen out of the Florida Panhandle. That destruction there forcing many residents to leave the area. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live from the Sarasota Bayfront to share the story of one evacuee with ties to Sarasota. Erica. Jacqueline Scott, good evening. One former Sarasota resident braved the deadly storm from his condo building on Panama City Beach. He said he could not believe his own eyes during the peak of the hurricane, so he took out his phone to capture the historic moment. After hours of heavy rain banging on the windows and the waves crashing in the Gulf. I was concerned for the worst. Harry Fager and his dog Noel escaped from his home in Panama City to Sarasota. He's finally getting back to normal. I can tell you she was stressed. He chose not to evacuate his condo building with little concern before Hurricane Michael made landfall. You kick into the survival mode. It's a concrete building and it's going to take an awful lot for this thing to come down. But the storm grew stronger before hitting the panhandle. I could feel the building vibrating and I could hear the waves crashing through the windows. I literally took my bed apart and I pushed the mattress and the box spring up in front of our three windows in the in the living room, which is all facing west. Took a big sofa, pushed it against that to hold those in place. Hours after Hurricane Michael ripped the wall off his condo's penthouse, the sky turned pink over the nearby marina. A moment of composure before discovering the wreckage. No water, no power, no nothing. Residents are returning home to rubble, massive trees in the streets and power lines along the roadway. Crews are digging through debris to search for survivors. Cell phone users have spotty service and 1 million people will have to live without power until next week. After three days of literally living like a Neanderthal, I said, I've had enough. That's my good girl. So Fager and Noel are here on the Sun Coast until life in Panama City returns close to normal. But thanks to his experience, he knows how to prepare for the next big storm. Next time, if it's a heavy duty thunderstorm, I'm leaving. Crews are slowly restoring power throughout the panhandle. 62,000 customers have already regained electricity, but those restoration efforts are likely to continue well into next week. Reporting live on Sarasota's Bayfront, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Erica, thank you.